No need for the red carpet. These movie stars don't need it. It's not only an event for bird enthusiasts, it's a revenue maker for the city of Harlingen, and it brings in plenty of bird enthusiasts from all around the country. Apparently, the wild birds in the valley are a big money maker. The ripple effect of the festival and what birders spend in the valley per year, Texas A&M just did a study last year, $463 million bird watchers bring into the valley. Some people in the valley might not take advantage of the birds we have in this area since 1994. The birding festival became an immediate success with about 750 participants from throughout the nation and abroad. Trade shows, seminars, gift shops, everything a wandering eye would want to see. This is the Raptor Project. Uh, they come down from upstate New York. They rehabilitate, rehabilitate birds of prey. Um, these are uh, wild birds that can't be released back into the into the wild for, for various reasons. It's hawks, owls, eagles, falcons. Some of these birds have been on TV in the Harry Potter movies, and they're here for people to see. Bird enthusiasts make a list of birds that they want to see, and the valley has 30 species that can't be seen anywhere else in the United States. They're Mexican species. These are some of the favorites. Green jays, our chachalacas, our kiskadees, our, our regular backyard birds that we may take for, for granted. Marcy says that birding is a great activity to get people out with their family and explore nature. She says that once you get out and start learning a little bit more about the birds, you'll be amazed on how special they are.